What's up guys, I'm Jules. Thank you for coming back for another weekly update of cross-stitch and fun and cross-stitchy goodness, I suppose. Uh, so, oh, I'm so excited this week. I did show you guys a couple of things. Um, first of all, let's just talk about how cold it is here in Colorado. Um, it was 95 degrees on Saturday, 92 on Sunday, and 32 on Monday. And it snowed and we got Overnight, we did get like measurable snow that stayed on the ground. It was crazy. And it's still kind of cool today. It's going to get warmer tomorrow. But I love it. I get to wear my shirts. And it's cross-stitching weather. So I'm just I'm so excited. Um, so I want to show you the progress that I've made on my pieces this week. But then after that, we're going to segue into talking and showing you guys some of the stuff that I have uh, sort of been working on for the store and design. So if you haven't had a chance or if you just haven't looked at the Etsy store yet, um, I'm going to show you a couple things because I actually started stitching one of my own pieces because I wanted, I really, really wanted to see how it turned out. And it's definitely going to be one of those that I'm going to frame and put on my wall basically when we're done because I'm, I'm so excited about how it turned out. So let's start first by showing our progress. Um, that's a dog. Oh, that's Doogie at the top of the stairs. Uh, anyway, it's Doogie. And so, uh, but let's look at Boba Fett first. Sassy Boba Fett. So I worked on, let's see, let me remind myself where I worked. I worked on his left shoulder up here. And I, I mostly focused on that area. I don't think I really was working on anything else. So mostly I just focused on stitching up there. I think I got two or 300 stitches done in that area. It's sort of like his shoulder guard, um, in a sense, like, I don't know if that's just kind of like where he holds his gun. I really am not really sure. I, I'm still just trying to see if this piece is going to turn into anything or not. Um, but I, I definitely want to keep stitching at it. It Unfortunately, because I have kind of haphazardly stitched, like, all over the place with it, um, you know, I probably would have saved myself a lot more time if I had literally just gone from the, the top through the bottom. Um, I would have been able to see I would, probably months ago if this thing actually is going to turn out the way I want it to. But um, if I'd had Pattern Keeper back there, I would have totally gotten that done. But I didn't, and I wasn't disciplined in doing it. So we're just going to have to keep filling it in until it until it just looks like something. I mean, it still looks like sassy fat, but, you know, there we go. All right. Oh, I just covered up Dachshund. Let's jump to Dachshund next since we've covered it up. Well, actually, you know what? Let me just show you a smidge of Reaper. I did stitch just a little bit on Reaper. Mostly up in this general area. The lighter colored stuff. Not very much. I thought I would stitch a lot more. I got terribly distracted when I started stitching on this. I got heavily distracted and um, I ended up switching to the piece that I'm going to show you in a minute here that I added. So a new pro, I, technically it's a new project. And so, um, but I'm going to put this over here. I also redid sort of my office area. So if it looks like I'm, things are a little bit different, it's because I moved the desk out. I have another table over here. I've got a printer going on. Um, and I just gave myself a lot more room and I have the roller frame over to the side and what I need to do is I need to put it in a place where it's accessible, where I can pull it into this little area whenever I need it, um, but have it not normally be in the way. And that way I can move around and, you know, do whatever I got to. So, dachshund. I got a little piece of dachshund floss that's coming through. Let me pull that back here. It takes away from the beauty of the dachshund. So I got a lot more stitched on dachshund this week. Still just the blue blue and dark blue and so but this is actually his foot the top of his foot and so or her foot I'm not really sure um but just more done it's not I don't know how much it really shows up it's so colorful that it's hard to tell and of course I don't have it right here I'm so unorganized um oh here it is I'm not that unorganized. Um, so it's this little area right here. So once I kind of get this little chunk done, I really want to get these little light brownish little paws, little digits there done. Um, it's going to look so awesome once I move across. But I do get a lot stitched on this one this week too. I think I got 
I had to have gotten four or 500 stitches done on that piece. Um, and then I got, oh, da -da -da. no, not that, not you. Rainy Waterloo Place saw some good action this week. I want to say another three, four, minimum three, 400 stitches. So I'm getting closer and closer to finishing this. And had I not started my new cross stitch piece this past weekend, I would have finished this page. I would have finished this page for sure, but um, but I didn't. So there it is. But I'm getting closer and closer to it. So my lights are a little off today, so that's why you can't quite, maybe you can't quite tell, but a lot more got done. A lot more got done. All right. Now we come to the part that I'm so excited about. Um, so I had a five day weekend. Yeah, I just had wings. I feel like pieces of chicken wing is bow, bow. Um, but I sorry about that. Um, so um what was I talking about? Five day weekend. So five day weekend happened and I stitched so much. And no so far it hasn't looked like it, but basically my new project, I did two thousand stitches this past weekend. And I was a stitching maniac. I was a total stitching maniac. Um, I am really very excited about this. Um, ooh, I should take it out of the hoop so you guys can kind of see. Now, you're not going to be able to tell too much what exactly it is, but I will show you a picture once I show you what the floss. Now, and then now, and then now, because all I'm doing is saying now. Um, so I grabbed... When I saw this design, well, when I finally got this design to work, um, and I worked on it for a while before I finally got it to work, and when I got it to work the way that I wanted it to, I was like, at Friday night, I was going to bed, and I told my husband, I'm like, I, I must start stitching this tomorrow morning. I must wake up and stitch. I have to. So I did a 1,000 stitches on Saturday, about 200 on Sunday, and then about another 800 on Monday. And... Um, and I'm gonna get back to stitching on it today, and I'm gonna stitch on it tomorrow and every day. But I didn't have a piece of fabric set aside for it, so I had to go digging through my stuff to see like what can I use, how can I get this stitched quickly, because um, I just I desperately wanted to just see what this was looking like. So I grabbed the fabric that I had originally intended to use for um, uh, what was it called the cross stitch collectibles. Uh, ice skaters, ice skating. Um, the one that I did, uh, the Im impressive, awesome surging job. Yeah, that's, that's, that's terrible. Um, so anyway, so that was one corner. So I grabbed the other corner cause I was like, I just got to start stitching. So let me show you, actually, let me show myself. What does this look like? Cause I haven't actually held the whole thing up. All right. So let me show you. So that's what it, that's what it looks like at first. So this is, for those of you guys who've been around for a while, you know that I enjoy the Ronnie Rowe technique as far as um, the pixelated look, the black thread or the dark thread on a light or white fabric um, where all you're stitching is the dark color and you allow the fabric to come through and help to provide depth to that picture. And so if you look at this, can you tell from just looking at it? I mean, you can't, but you could you tell what it is? And I know that that doesn't necessarily look like 2,000 stitches, but let me tell you, that's 2,000 stitches. This is 14 count fabric, so pretty big. And it's only coming down to about, I think maybe about right here, I think. You wanna see what it looks like when it's finished? Okay, hold on, I, uh, my phone died. It didn't die, it just, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited to get this thing done. I just want to stitch and stitch and stitch and stitch. First, I got to find it. Okay, here it is. All right, you guys ready? Are you ready? Here it is. So it's the famous sort of Iwo Jima um, flag raising picture. Uh, and it's pixelated. So let me, let me zoom in on my phone so you guys can see that it's actually pixelated. So again, the white fabric comes through. The black is what's stitched. And when you zoom out, that's what it looks like. And then when you look, pull it back, it looks like the photo. And 
I'm so excited. I'm so excited um, that it is, that it came through like that. I'm so excited. So we're working on it. And when I say we, I mean me. I don't know why I said we. Um, but uh, that is the project. That is my next finish because I am not going to stop stitching on it. Well, I got to sleep. I got to eat. I got to stitch on other things. I got to go to work. But I, I will keep stitching on it until it's done. But I have to do other things too. So my brain is not working right. Um, but I am so excited about this. I am so excited. Can I tell you? Can I tell you how excited I am? I'm so excited. All right, let me put this over here. Um, so with that being said, so... Wings. Let me also show you some of the other things. So if you want to find my store, the link is down below. Um, Stitching Jewels Designs, if you want to see what I have done. But you don't have to because you can just watch this video and you can find it here. So I'm just going to hop on Etsy real quick. Um and whoops actually I shouldn't go there I should go to this other spot and show you guys so um I have how many patterns do I have on this store 10 I have 10 patterns I put the physical patterns back on the list over the weekend because my printing capabilities came back but oh my goodness that was crazy um and so all right so there's just a lot of crazy things going on. So, hold on. Watch, I won't be able to show you guys. Um, I apologize for the delay. Hold on, let me just press pause, hold on. Okay, I found my store. Um, so there are some different things that I wanna point out to you guys as far as some different projects that are out there. Um, this one is um, a grayscale pattern. Um, can I, can I click on it? Okay. So this is a grayscale pattern. It's not the black and white, but I call this one Linus. And so, but that's kind of, that's kind of, that is what it is. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you the stitch count right off hand, although I can look it up, but, or can I? I'll leave it to you guys to look it up. It's not huge. Oh wait, there it is. The stitch count is 140. By 220 so it's not very large um, it's not very large at all it uses 26 colors but it it just it was such a great picture and it really worked out the details worked out fantastically um, for that no sorry um, and then we have I'm trying to pull up these listings and uh, the next one is st. Basil's Cathedral and so this is another grayscale now I could have done this in color and if I had done this in color, it probably would have been like 150 colors. And I just, I don't know if I wanted to do that or not. There's other cross-stitch patterns that are out there that you can do. But if you want to do like a, a cool, smaller version of St. Basil's Cathedral, stitch count is 300 by 361, so it's not that small. Um, but you're not stitching the sky. It's The sky is just whatever fabric you want to use. So if you want to stitch on blue, you can stitch on blue. You know, white, whatever works for you. Um, Let's see here. And then I have a couple of what I call American church designs. I call them American church designs. But um, this is one of them. And so it's just the front of a church. And I you know, basically just removed everything else from the photo. And that's the, that's the actual stitched look. Um, 283 by 383, 98 colors. So bigger pattern, bigger pattern for sure. Um, and then there's a second American church. And this is the stitched view. Um, American church number two. And so I, I kind of made it a clouded, like kind of fuzzed out some of the sky because I didn't feel like you needed to stitch every little bit. I didn't want you, I didn't want you to have to. And if you want to put it in like a, a frame that birds are being loud. Um, if you want to put it in a, in a frame, you can, as far as trying to kind of focus right on the church. I, the stitch count is only 171 by 173, though. So I'm trying to find ways to give you guys good quality products without making a stitch, like I do, for months on end. <laughs> um, I saw this sign, and I really liked it. It's, um, it's the Traveler's Hotel in Muskogee, Oklahoma. It's like a roadside 
sign, hold on, right there. And so it's just a lot of red. And it's not a very big stage. It's 210 by 101. So it's, it's shades of red and some white, obviously. But again, you're not stitching everything. You're just stitching the, the sign itself, the, the hand. And so, um, eh. keeps telling me I'm having problems with my listings. And then I saw this poster and I thought it was cute. Visit the Pacific Northwest Wonderland. And so it's just an old like 1950s era travel poster from way back in the 1950s. And so, and this one is 126 by 188. So not a very large um, stitch, but the colors really pop. And so I liked, I just, I'm just trying a lot of different things. And um, I'm hoping that, um, you know, at some point it'll kind of become clear to me like what, what I need to be focusing on and what I need to be doing. But right now I just want to, the birds are excited. I can tell you that. Oh, and then this one. And I think I, well, and this one's Billy Holiday singing. And so I call it Billy song, but I don't know if you guys know who Billy Holiday is, but she was a, a jazz kind of, a, I, I would think of her more as a swing singer um, back in like the 30s and 40s. And, uh, oh, what a voice, what a voice. And I, I happened upon this photo when I was looking through like old vintage stuff and I'm like, that is cool. I just love the kind of the, she's just singing, man. She's just singing. Whoops. Your shopping cart is empty. She's just singing. So anyway, um, is that pretty much all I wanted to show you guys? Oh, no, no, no. I can just get it to show. There we go. So this next one's called the torn dress. So I have a couple of paintings that I um, that I have converted to cross stitch. I mean, I don't have the paintings, but it's their their paintings. This one's called the torn dress. And so I just thought it was cute, and I like the style and I like the colors. Birds. And um, so the stitch count is 200 by 282. So really pretty. I think paintings come through really well as cross stitch. Um, and they come through in a way that you don't have to like stitch every little fine detail like you do sometimes with photos. So, and then the last one I want to show you, if it, ah, stop. Let me look at, let me look at it. It's not going to let me look at it. Let's so put my computer up. And I can just, oh, I got the Taj Mahal. I forgot about that one. All right, um, let me take a couple pictures too while I'm talking to you guys um, because for whatever reason, it's not letting me do it. But talk amongst yourselves. Hold on. Okay, so after sneezing a few times, um, so there's two more that I wanted to show you. One is another black pixelated, um, uh, and this is not gonna look its best because I took a picture of it with my phone. Um, or maybe it'll look all right. But, so this is black thread on light colored or white fabric, and it's basically just the Taj Mahal. Um, so, and that's all that it is. And I know that it doesn't look like it, but that's what it is. It's black, black thread on white fabric. If I can zoom in, uh, it's let me. It's not let me zoom in any further. But that's literally what it is, and so you get that 3D effect and you get that look when you step back, just like just like you know some of the ones that I have here. And then another little vintage postcard looking thing I took a picture of, and this one's called Let It Snow. And again, like I said, these these vintage painting type things show up really, really well. Birds just threw some seed at me. Thank you, birds. Um, and so they show up really, really well. So um, the Taj Mahal is 459 by 228. And Let It Snow is not very large. Um, it is... I apologize, guys. This, the the... 
there's a there's a, a lot of production value in these videos. Um, nah, sorry. 216 by 336, and it only uses 42 colors, which I think for the color palette that it has, um, the fact that it's only 42 colors is pretty cool. So there's that. But for right now, what I'm working on is um, raising the flag. And so, and I am so excited. So I'm only using 310, uh, so I had to run out and get a bunch of, of these. Um, and thankfully I was able to find them, uh, at my local Michaels. And, um, so I've just been stitching like crazy. So I'm going to continue to do that. I'm stitching it in my next, um, uh, video or my next Twitch stream, which is Thursday morning. Uh, and I know that I don't necessarily follow the proper schedule. Like I don't follow the schedule that I'm supposed to when it comes to like, Oh, I gotta be, I gotta be, uh, I gotta start my stream at this time and I gotta end it at this time. And I kind of don't do that. I sort of just freelance it in a way. But I still hop on Thursday mornings and I still hop on Sunday mornings, mountain time, and uh, stream for a couple of hours. It's just, uh, it's a little hard tomorrow morning. I should be able to do it, but there may be one more person stopping by the house to do something. So we might end up uh, getting uh, delayed on that. But um, so yeah, so um, that's that's it for now. Um, no, it's not. Um, we are getting no honey this year. So honey update, we are getting no honey. Um, and it's not because of the cold or anything. It's been hot and dry all summer and the bees just haven't made any extra honey. It's like they've just, you know, held everything in reserve and there just wasn't, there weren't any flowers. Uh, there wasn't, there wasn't any source of pollen for them really. So this past week, I think kind of gave up the ghost. Um, what little honey honey has been produced on top of what they've made for themselves, which we would normally take the extra honey uh, for ourselves. Um, there's just hardly anything there, so we're gonna just let the let the bees have it and start to think about battening battening them down for the winter. And uh, this cold spell, it's not gonna hurt them. Um, we still have six live hives. It's just they're it just didn't really do much this year. So after our best year yet, um, last year, uh, when we had 150 pounds of honey, this year, um, zero. And so, and that's mother nature for you. That's the the whims of, of just how that all goes. So hopefully next year will be a better year, uh, but we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, we're supposed to have a, a snowier winter than normal, and maybe that will set us up for a better spring and summer next year. We'll just have to find out. Um, other than that, uh, check out my Etsy store. Give me some ideas of other things that you guys might want to see. Um, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of just, if I find a pattern that I like and then I'm, <laughs> I, I keep being told like, don't do too many listings, don't do too many listings. And I listen and I'm like, yeah, you're right. But then I'm like, but I want to do this one and I want to do this one. And so I'm terrible at listening to directions. I just kind of tend to do my own thing and figure it out as I go. So, uh, but I want to thank you guys for those of you guys who have already purchased, um, the products. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And um, for those of you who come into the streams and say hi, and uh, we have a great time during those streams. It's a lot of fun, and uh, that's awesome. And I think that's it for now. Yeah, I gotta get this video uploaded. And um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, have a great rest of your night, day, morning, whatever it is. And I will see you guys real soon.